morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. I thought that this uh, may be interesting and useful for some of you. Uh, this time I'm gonna adjust the chain on the Suzuki Bandit 650. This is another maintenance video about this machine. Uh, it is an easy job, everyone can do it. Uh, it is uh, something that uh, takes only 10 minutes Probably it depends on how fast and uh, how uh, experienced are you. But uh, in any case, uh, I'm going to show you in detail uh, what is needed and uh, step by step uh, how I do it. <laughs> We need uh, the Allen key, so uh, on this side and on the other side there are two bolts that uh, should be tightened with the Allen key and uh, this is number 5. Then we need the wrench socket, this is torque wrench socket uh, and uh, it should be adjusted to the exact torque, we will see later uh, what it is. And uh, first of all, to adjust, or even before we start adjusting the chain, we need uh, to measure the uh, slack of the chain. And uh, according to the Suzuki 650 Bandit manual, it should be uh, from 20 to 30 millimeters. So let's measure this first and then go step by step. You have to have two uh, centimeters or three centimeters 20 to 30 millimeters of play so uh, now the bike is on the center stand and uh, when we are sitting on the bike this is uh, something that is uh, common that it's uh, for every bike uh, so it uh, should be considered that uh, the chain gets even a bit tighter so do not over tighten the chain first of all guys we have to find the tightest spot yeah and i think it is here and then we have to measure it so just here below this bolt let's see now we can see it's uh, six and then we can see it's three and a half so it should be tightened a bit let's do it here we have the 22 uh, wrench socket but uh, we will need only uh, 24 on the other side because this side this bolt just holds the line uh, with the axis so uh, it is not needed to do anything here on this side with the bolt just on the other side let's unscrew the bolt and then we have to use the allen key number five and uh, here on both sides we have to uh, adjust or tighten this bolt so as much as we tighten it here on the left uh, we have to do it on the other side the same so uh, be careful and uh, do it on both sides the same so here i'm gonna see yeah now i am at this position and i'm gonna tighten it till I reach uh, the, uh, let's say, line here. So I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, let's check the chain slack now. Yeah, now it seems to be very tight, so 
now I'm gonna lose it a bit, just a bit. Yeah, now it seems a lot better. We can also measure it. Yeah, now it's okay, I think. Yeah, let's tighten it now. We have to set the wrench torque at 100 Newton meters. Now it is at uh, zero and uh, it is completely loose here. So uh, let's adjust it uh, to reach the number that is the closest to 100 Newton meters. And this is uh, 98 Newton meters. So the zero number should be at um, 98 newton meters and uh, this is uh, exactly here as you can see yeah zero at uh, 98 newton meters and then two more yeah two more here two more to have it exactly on the 100 newton meters of torque let's Tighten it. Okay. Basically, it is very important also to check the measurement here. Now we can see that uh, it is somewhere in the middle. Uh, but when we are adjusting the chain, it goes to the right. And uh, when we will reach here the end, the chain will be ready. Uh, I mean, will be uh, worn out and the bike will be ready for a new chain. So this is basically it. Uh, just uh, be careful to adjust, to tighten uh, both uh, Allen key bolts here and uh, tighten the uh, axis. This was all guys, this was the chain adjustment on the Suzuki Bandit 650, but uh, before we conclude I have to remind you that uh, you have to uh, lose the uh, torque wrench and uh, put it back to zero, so just do it like we did before, put it to zero because um, there is no tension after um, in it and it's better uh, to have it with no tension so it can uh, be uh, useful for many years this was all guys thanks for watching i hope that this video is going to be useful for at least some of you it is very hot because we are in the middle of august uh, i hope that uh, you're having fun, you're riding. Till the next time, guys. Thanks for watching.